Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. It's been a while since I've started out over here, hasn't it? Oh, uh, and it's been a while since I've shown myself doing this! And, you know, I've also got to get some supplies, namely some arrows. So I'm gonna go roll around in the field as a Goron for a little bit. Looking for some arrows, rolling all around. I think I got some there. Oh, heck yeah, I did! Okay, so... Now I'm gonna go fly back over to Ikana Canyon, if I can play this song properly, and do that other path upstream. Remember that I said I was gonna go whenever I get something reflective? Well, it wasn't the shield that I actually needed, it was just light arrows. So light arrows came after the shield, and thus I had to hold off on doing this until later on. So I thought, eh, there's only a couple side quests left in the game, so... Might as well just kind of combine up them in a couple parts in a row, I guess you could say. So, yeah. <laughs> so, hopping on over here, I should say swimming on over here. This is... Oh, I failed to get out. <laughs> I tried to jump out fancily. Secret shrine behind waterfall. Now waiting the challengers of bold visitors, sure of their might. <laughs> Boy, that laugh sure sounds familiar, doesn't it? Ah, well, we'll see. We'll see. I can probably take this off now. And yeah, I thought I needed the shield because I thought I needed to uh, reflect stuff in here, but nah. By the way, the bean is just to get the rupees along the edge of the top of this room here, so not really that big of a deal or anything like that. Yeah, I'm just gonna kind of... I was a little too twitchy on my timing there. I'm just gonna light the way, and there we go, now we have access to this place, so yeah, not not the mirror shield like I thought it was, it was the light arrows. Oh, look who it is. <laughs> it seems somehow you have managed to send the Ikana's wandering spirits into peace. But outside of Ikana, there are still swarms of wandering spirits with lingering regrets. The ones in this room want to meet you again. And have been waiting here for quite a while. Go see them if you feel like it. I'm sure they'll welcome you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, who wants to complete another heart container today? I do. So let's go ahead and I'll f and totally mess up jumping across those, but it might not matter because I can just do that. <laughs> I don't know which ones I want to do first, if any. There might not be any sort of specific order or whatnot, and... So what's in here? What is... Ah! Wart. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be kind of like a mini boss rush of sorts. So as you might expect, this could take me a little while. I mean, although I did show you how to beat these bosses and stuff like that before, you know, just kind of... Kind of messes with the spirit of the area, I guess you could say, of me doing that. Unless it's something like goats, where you have to defeat that SLB like 85 times in a single playthrough if you want to get everything. <laughs> I'm just trying to get my way cleared through here, especially now that I've got my double health, I can really tank the hits all that I want. <laughs> Kind of doing my thing because why not? Uh, how, how's my progress here? Maybe I can, maybe I can do some damage here. Oops, not, I didn't mean to. Uh, I'm always used to putting the arrows on the Z button, I guess. Yeah, that's not good. That's not going to be helpful to me. <laughs> There's got to be an open spot in order for me to be able to shoot the old eyeball there. I wonder if I should have my light arrows off, actually. No. Oh, oh. Eh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not. I mean, surely that caused more damage than your regular old-fashioned arrow. Uh, open up, open up. Oh yeah. Uh, I think I got a good spinning timing here that's going on, because it's not really uh, closing when it's getting to an opening, like it was that other, that other match that I had. Did I kill it already? I think I did. Oh, no, not quite. <laughs> that is okay with me. Yeah! Okay. Maybe I got enough of them killed off that I can. No, I can't. I was gonna say so I can kill the 
kill off War Tier and finish this a little bit quicker, but nope. Mm, face me, you coward! Face me! Well, I almost got you sideways. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is possible to get him sideways, that eye is so big. This <laughs> just bashing his head in the corner repeatedly. Okay, I win. Woo! <laughs> and our prize is not a heart piece just yet. It is, in fact, something else. Something that we might find useful. It is a silver rupee. We probably don't find that all that useful now anymore. <laughs> Considering we've, we've got over 5,000 rupees through half grinding, half main gameplay. But whatever, whatever. Let's move on here and actually do these jumps this time. <laughs> I'll go to the one adjacent to it, and then I'll go left and right, I guess, maybe, might be- Oh, no! Oh, dearie me, whatever am I going to do about this wizard? This is just nutters, it's the most difficult boss fight in the world, I just- Who can possibly defeat the wizard? No one, that's who. No one. Hey there, how's it going? <laughs> Eventually he's gonna start splitting up his stuff. There he goes, he's going into form two. Having a good time there, and I lost my arrow because of that, but whatever. How's it going? <laughs> and I, I wonder if he's even gonna be able to get a shot off on me here. Huh? Oh, oh, he did. <laughs> That's okay. Well, that is gonna offset my timing a little bit here, so I'm gonna have to kinda move around here to kind of redirect stuff. There we go. Oh, I win. Let's get over where that treasure chest is. I'm gonna guess it's gonna appear. Uh, will it pop me up on top of it? Ah, uh, it didn't. I am sad face. Okay, another silver rupee. Woo! Yeah, I do believe all of them contain silver rupees, so it's a pretty decent place to get rupees if you're good at the bosses, I guess. I don't know if it's faster than to curry, but it's still a pretty decent place. <laughs> and oh, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> whatever. Who needs those platforms? Not me. Not me. Hmm. What's in this room? Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I got the Goron mask off already. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I think I should try. Oh, maybe I should try something less clunky. And eh, no, they jump. <laughs> A lot of enemies tend to do that. That's why I don't typically do the pound thing. But since I'm immune to uh, their fiery embrace, other than the kickback and whatnot, I'm not gonna really. Not gonna really worry too much about them <laughs> in Goron form. <laughs> oh, maybe they do a little bit of damage in fiery form. Oh, well, I still win anyway. <laughs> Doesn't matter to me, but man, that, that really cut me away from getting on top of that chest now, didn't it? Now, didn't it? Man, oh, oh I'm stuck. I'm st oh! <laughs> I can't get off the, the block. That's yeah, more like a rock, but. Close enough. Close enough. 100 rupees. And yeah, this room is like a, a shrine of sorts, I guess you could say. I, sh I should say these rooms are like a, a shrine of sorts. And now I can't make these jumps if I'm a Goron, so back to human. And one more room ought to do. Uh, I think this is the Iron Knuckle room. Oh, no, it's the Garo Master Room, never mind. <laughs> Not a big deal or anything like that, I'm just gonna kinda dodge him and then attack. Yeah, because I, I now understand, again, how to defeat him Whoop! with relative ease. <laughs> By relative ease, I mean I'm still probably going to flubbery my way through it. Oh, but what did you- oh, there you are. <laughs> you and your oh, ninjutsu trickery. Aha! <laughs> I figured he'd make himself vulnerable after that, so I thought I would do a spin attack right away. Ah, Ah, there we go. Victory is mine. Get over there where the chest is gonna appear. Hurry, 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 hurry! Will it work? Will it work? Can I sit on top of it? Yeah, I can sit on top of it. 
because why not? <laughs> and one more big ol' rupee. Yeah, that's 400 rupees. Still, I don't think it's faster than Takuri. <laughs> Especially if you, when you like when you get good at defeating it, but it's not over yet. <laughs> you really are an amazing person, Link. It seems you've somehow managed to heal their souls. Maybe I shall vanish soon myself. Didn't you say that before when I did that with the other? Never mind, that was on a different timeline. Well then. <laughs> and gone. Okay, it's over. <laughs> but the cutscenes and dialogue were not over. Hey, look at that, I made the jumps, it's magical. And if you probably guessed, based on the size of this chest, you would be right that it's a heart piece! Yeah, we have completed this side quest and are now up to 18 hearts. Oh yeah! <laughs> um... Oops, I didn't mean to. I, now what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get a bean and uh... Oh, oh yeah, I forgot I wanted to show you this. Every time that you go out of this door, it automatically just ejects you in the water. Watch this, I promise you, I am not going to touch the control stick on my way back out. Okay? Watch, I'm, I promise you, not, not gonna happen. Ah, oh, it puts me in the water! Why does it do that? <laughs> But anyway, as I said, I'm gonna go get myself a bean, as well as some spring water, because I have a hunch as to how to get those chests over at the powers that be, as in the reversed stone tower temple place area. BEAN! Oh man, I sure wonder if I can afford this. SPRING WATER! Yeah! Hey wait, can I just like, pull out this block? And then shoot a light arrow to that spider? Because maybe I won't have to redo the puzzle at all in such a case. I never thought of this before to save even more time. Let's give that a try here. Just play around with it and see if I can pick out a way to get the right angle to get my arrow between that thing. Oh, I should take this off right away. Um, light arrows, bean, I probably should use the Great Fairy Sword against those buggers, but eh, it's fine, I got more opportunities to use it. Okay, let's see if I can get myself into good pos- oh shoot, I didn't mean to. Unbelievable, because I had it set to that dang Z button again, and now I've got to go warp and get some more spring water. <laughs> <laughs> Spring water redo! This time it's going to the Z button. Okay, so I'm gonna hit this block, pull out the middle one. I mean, hit the switch to pull out the middle block. And then we do the Elegy of Emptiness. It doesn't have to be a Goron or anything like that for me to play around with this. It's just that I need to have enough weight to be able to hold down the switch. And I'll see if I can shoot at it. Okay, so at the very, very tippy, tippy corner, so I don't slide off, can I shoot that? Um, uh, maybe. Hold on. Ah, so close. Oh, come on, really? It's just so, so close. And I'm sure that I missed that scare before at other points in the temple. <laughs> Okay, let's try a different angle here. How about I go from way over here? How about this? Oh, that's actually doable! Okay! Oh! Oh, other than, you know, bats interrupting my shots. <laughs> uh, here we go. Oh, really? I don't have magic? Oh, I will soon, because this contains magic, I know that. <laughs> I was just wasting so many arrows trying to thread the needle that... I ended up messing up there. Okay. Now, I have all the time in the world to make this shot. Booyah! Oh, I missed still. <laughs> there we go. Flip that sucker around. 
so I found another way around it that you don't need to do the block puzzle with. That's nice. I wish I would have found that earlier. <laughs> now I'm gonna go pop this here. Pop this in here. This is my hunch as to how to get those chests, because I didn't see any chests from where I was standing, like anywhere around it, so I presume that this bean will take me to wherever those chests are and we'll be able to see what's inside them. Maybe. <laughs> Just in case, I should probably have this out. Because I might need to shoot at something, but maybe not. Um, another... Oh! Another bean spot? What is that for, then? Hmm... Hmm... <laughs> this could be... Well, let's see what I get here. <laughs> when I do this... Oh, magic bean! Look at that! <laughs> uh, they, they were expecting us to do a bean... Bean trial here, I guess, of sorts. Okay, oh wait, this is the last treasure chest. And a silver rupee, okay. So where could that bean take me <laughs> anyway? Um... Like, is there any, any desirable reason to just keep beaning up? Bean me up, Scotty? Um, <laughs> hmm, I mean, I guess if it's gonna do that, I could just, like, fill in a whole load of spring water just to see where this is going to lead. Remember, as I said before, this is the first time I ever noticed those chests there for some reason, so I've never actually went through the hassle of seeing where the poop this sucker will actually lead me, if it's actually gonna lead me anywhere important. Well, I shouldn't say important, because it's kind of misleading considering that since I wasn't there before and I have 100% of the game before, well, it's clearly not important. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna go and also get myself some beans for them to be exact, I guess. It's not like that I need the rupees anyway. Honestly, I'm probably giving this game way, way more attention than it deserves. <laughs> and hopefully... Ah, okay, I was gonna say, hopefully my bean spot is still here, so I don't have to replant that, but that's also part of the reason why I got so much water and so many beans. So let's go and put that there, that there, and that there. That way I won't accidentally waste my, <laughs> my, my beans if there's gonna be some sort of issue. But what I'm suspecting is that all this is gonna do is gonna take me back down to the bottom, because all it gave me was one bean. But then again, it didn't give me water with it, so... Who knows where this thing might take me. And we're off. <laughs> and we're going off to this side, and down and around, and... Uh, okay, yeah, it's, it's just seemingly taking me back over here, isn't it? Yeah... Because normally you can't, like, jump straight down from where this was, yep, that's what I thought. But at the same time, if you think about it, if you don't have the spring water like I had, you would still be stuck. Like, who would think to bring more spring water than what they need to when you could use your bottles for fairies or something like that? I mean, I guess you could take extra spring water just in case, because you can always dump it out, but... <laughs> Now, I'm going to show you one last giblet here, because it's going to be interesting, I think. It's another money-making scheme, I guess you can say, that you can do by manipulating the flow of time. Because there's a place in Clocktown that I still haven't yet showed you um, over at West Clocktown. See, the over by where those two girls are performing their dance at night, there's a lottery place, and... If you write down the numbers of said lottery place, you would be able to win them on future days just by picking those same numbers that were that got ended up picked at said lottery shop. Here, I'll show you how it works. I would love to try. If I win, I'll get 50 rupees, but it's only for the first person. Okay, I'll put put it as... 0, 1, 0, because out of 10, that is how I would score this game. <laughs> so now they're going to do it from 6 o'clock to 11 o'clock. And then see, this place flips around. And chances are, we ain't... Oops, we ain't gonna win this whatsoever. Because you have 
a one in a thousand chance of actually successfully managing to pull this off. But... You can speed this along a little bit. We're gonna go to <laughs> the Song of Double Time and go to the next night so that we can get the results of said numbers. Okay? Okay. So get your pen and paper out here and prepare to write stuff down. Let's just go back in here. It's a nice slow down time. All right, who, who won? What's the numbers? The winning numbers are... They are 095. Remember, those numbers are different for each save file, just like all the other numbers that can appear in the game, so you absolutely gotta write them down for your specific save file. Now we're gonna do this for all three days. Uh, I, I didn't actually mean to pick 111. I was gonna pick 251 for the number of Pokemon on my favorite Pokemon generation, but, well, it doesn't matter anyway, because chances are I'm not gonna win. And the winning numbers are... The winning numbers are... 399! I'm writing it down right now, so even if I picked... 251, not gonna happen. So let's go over to the next day. I'm in! Okay, oh shoot, I did it! Urgh! I was gonna put 666 this time because it's the number of this game. <laughs> I just clicked through the dialogue way too fast for my own good. Wouldn't it be funny if the winning numbers just happened to be 111? <laughs> <laughs> like, just one of the days, wouldn't it be funny? Alright, so, I didn't win any of the days, even if I would have picked 666. Alas, alas, there, there's no such thing as tomorrow, this is the final day. <laughs> as long as I'm over on this part of town, I'm gonna try depositing my rupees just to see if there's some different dialogue here. Uh, yeah, no, you I, yes, I know, I know, let's deposit. He's like, huh? How many rupees do you have? Yes, yes. I can't take any more deposits. Oh, man. Oh, man. Song of time. <laughs> Withdrawing 30 rupees here, even though I only really need 10 because I'm going to win each time, but I don't know why I chose 30, because I'm, I'm assuming that I'm going to lose, I guess, subconsciously as per the nature of any sort of lottery in the world. <laughs> so, okay, now we're gonna, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna buy into this this time, and, you know, we're, we're gonna say, you know, the numbers that we wrote down for each individual day. And this time, in this particular day, it's 095. And, you know, just, we're gonna see if we won now. <laughs> Let me guess, the winning numbers are 0 Nine, five. Oh man, look at that! It's almost as if I can time travel. <laughs> Night of the second day. Something tells me that the winning numbers are three nine nine. I bet you. I bet you. Oh, look at that! I won my bet. I don't even know why I was worried about losing my deposit at the start. <laughs> Hey guy, I bet you the winning numbers are 040. Oh, what are they? Oh my goodness, I won three days in a row. That's just crazy. No one could possibly win three days in a row. No one. No one. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you always want to say that to the lottery? Like, like I mean, just time travel to mess with the lottery for all the times that they've basically cheated people out of money through trying to give them hope. <laughs> but in any case, I'm going to end off the part now because I thought, eh, after the lottery, that should be enough time to show you a different money-making way. It's not nearly as efficient as other ways that you can do in this game, like that mini boss rush of sorts, or to curry, of course, but eh, it's still something you can do, especially early game, I guess. If you want to grind for your rupees a little bit sooner than later. 